Great, uh, thanks. I just want to ask you, um, and I had asked this to Paul and also Sam, that after the game last night, I heard more than one Vegas player say that they're not going to fall for, quote, the Panthers baiting us. But this is the physical style of play we have seen all season and throughout these playoffs. And Paul said, we're not going to let up at all on these guys. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously he, he's right. That's kind of who we are at this point, um, you know, so we'll, we'll learn from, from it what we can. Um, but, you know, at the same time that, you know, that's our identity. We're, we're a hard team, so we're going to stay hard. Got one for, uh, for each of you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one uh, from both you guys. But throughout these playoffs, you guys have trailed in series, going back to the Boston series. You guys have played a, a ton of tight games over times. So you face some adversity on the road, but you guys have always stayed calm. You've stayed confident. How much does that come in handy here? And, and where does that trait come from for this team? Seems like you're always comfortable in, uh, in tough spots. Yeah, I think you said it. I mean, we are definitely comfortable in, uh, in these situations. Um, what it stems from, I think it's just the room. Um, I know that's kind of a run-of-the-mill answer, but we're a, we're a light uh, group in there. We like to have fun. Um, and I think that kind of calms the nerves down a bit. So, like you said, went down one nothing against Boston, trailed behind before. We're definitely comfortable and, and just treating it like another game. Yeah, I guess to build off that, it's, it's been that way for, for a little while for us, you know, ever since that stretch in, in January going into February when, when we started making our, our push you know the the games were close all the way so you know we, we've learned to be to be comfortable in that position front left Sean Zach we had talked the other day about this possibility of you with your journey maybe getting in a Stanley Cup final game I'm wondering if you can walk me through what yesterday was like for you and and just that swirl of emotions as as you found out you were playing and then for it to actually happen yeah, I mean, it's probably something I didn't have on my bingo card to start the year. Um, yeah, you said it. I've, I've been a journeyman, um, kind of carved out uh, a long career of injuries and ups and downs. But uh, to find out right before warm-up that I was going in, um, obviously, for lack of better term, just a dream come true. It's something you've worked your whole life for. And um, I think what makes it special for me now at this age is my kids are old enough to understand what uh, what's going on, so um, it's not just a payoff for me, but a payoff for them. It's been a long year for me uh, not seeing them, going a, a month or two without seeing them. So um, to see them at home and, and watching the game and and uh, being excited for me was a good payoff for sure. Front left, Ryan. Ryan Clark, ESPN. This is for Zach or Ryan, which great name by the way. But no, seriousness. <laughs> You look at like last night and the performance you guys had and trying to get to Hill and creating pressure and all that. What were some of those things that stood out about what you knew about Hill when you, before you played the Golden Knights? Whereas if now that you've had a game, what are those things that kind of stand out to you as far as like this is what you have to do to try to get scoring chances and convert those chances? Yeah, he, you know, he's obviously a, a big frame, um, you know, big frame, good goalie. And, and, you know, he's got something to prove. I think he came in slot as their, their third goalie or, you know, or their second, one of those two. So he's got something to prove. So, you know, we got to uh, make it make it a little bit tougher on him. Well said. Uh, this one's for uh, Zach. Zach, you kind of have a unique perspective on the room, which we talked about. You kind of had some check-ins throughout the year, with, you know, with the call-ups and whatnot to mm -hmm. this point now. So kind of going from an outsider to an insider perspective, how did you kind of see the room evolve throughout the season as you kept kind of checking in? Um, I, I don't think it really changed as far as what I saw. Um, you know, you have some... <laughs> Some quiet leaders, some vocal leaders. Um, one next to me here, pretty vocal guy, keeps it light. Um, so I, I think that they've just been in that mode. Uh, I, say, I say they, but I mean we now. They've just, we've been in the, the, the do or die. Um, and then obviously with the severity of some of these games, it's nice to have kind of on the other side a light, uh, hard address room. So um, they do it well, for sure. Left side, Dan. Uh, Ryan. Paul's up here, he's telling us all to relax, that we all need to relax, right? Uh, after you guys lose. Um, and he's joking around and, and whatnot, and, and he talks a lot about fun. For, for you guys, what's fun about this? What's fun, what, describe it, what, what's this like? Stanley Cup Finals, you know, I, I think we all dreamt about having this opportunity. Um, you know, for, for many of us, it was pretty far-fetched, so just, um, you know, if you can't enjoy it, you know, you, you shouldn't be here. So all, all, although we lost, it's, 
you know, first to four. Um, you know, I'm sure Paul also mentioned how we lost the first game in Boston. We learned from it. We got better. Um, so, you know, it's it's important to have fun, um, stay light. You know, it's it's part of learning. There are no more questions. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys.